So put yourself back into the mid-1970s, for those who remember. We had politicians in Los Angeles and around the country with names like Ford, Bush, and Carter, and Bradley, and Hahn. And along came Yaroslavsky. His name was so long it didn't fit on a bumper sticker, so they just called him Zev, and he's been known as Zev ever since. He stunned the political establishment in 1975 when he was elected to the LA City Council at the age of only 26, representing the 5th District in West LA for 19 years. And in 1994, he was elected to the LA County Board of Supervisors, which, and it represents over 2 million constituents in the West Side, the San Fernando Valley, and Hollywood. As he completes almost 40 years of public service, the list of accomplishments is longer than his name. His career highlights including working, include working on mass transit. He just came here today from the MTA board, which he has served on for many years. And he's championed the expansion of the municipal bus service, the fast buses, including the Orange Line busway, our light rail transit system, and our expanding subway system. The Santa Monica Mountains has always been uh, thing, something that he's been very proud of. He's been a leader in the efforts to preserve the Santa Monica Mountains and recently championed the passage of a new land use plan, which you may have seen in the LA Times. M music and fine arts. Zeb has led the effort to rebuild and modernize the world famous Hollywood Bowl. And he was instrumental in the development of Disney Concert Hall, the uh, LA County Museum of Art, expansion and improvements at the Museum of Natural History. He recently fulfilled a, a longtime dream of being able to conduct the LA Philharmonic uh, at the Hollywood Bowl a few years ago. On healthcare, Zev has worked to secure the viability of the nation's second largest public health system, and he's pushed for reforms that have brought access to care for millions of vulnerable individuals. And on homelessness, he's taken a leadership role by initiating uh, Project 50, a pilot project uh, using a housing first approach for the most chronically homeless individuals on Skid Row. It was very successful and has been copied by other organizations who have used the housing first model to work with veterans and the chronically homeless. During his career, Supervisor Zev Yaroslavsky has been at the forefront of LA County's biggest issues from transportation to the environment, from healthcare to the arts and he's been a significant leader in the Jewish community. Zev's extensive accomplishments have touched every part of LA County and improved the lives of every county resident. I've had the honor of knowing Zev for more than 30 years. Is that possible? <laughs> and I'm very pleased to introduce him to you today. The Spirit of Los Angeles Award winner, Supervisor Zev Yaroslavsky. Thank you, Craig, uh, so much for that uh, overly generous uh, introduction. And let me just say for the record, I have conducted the Hollywood, uh, the Philharmonic at the Hollywood Bowl, but don't get excited. I conducted the Star Spangled Banner. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of my favorite pieces to conduct and my only piece. But uh, <laughs> um, this means a lot to me and uh, that, that you would uh, choose to honor me uh, as I uh, ride into the sunset, at least the elected official sunset, at the end of this year. Uh, it's been an interesting uh, few months, because every, every so often, uh, one of my constituent groups, Homeowner Association, Chamber of Commerce, Civic Association, have honored me. And, and it's, been, it's been interesting, because I always wondered you know, what they would say at my funeral. Uh, and now I don't have to worry about it anymore. I pretty much know what the obituary is going to sound like. And uh, uh, this Lifetime Achievement Award stuff that, that goes on is, my achievement is that I survived uh, almost 40 years as an elected official in the west side of Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, seriously, I just want to say uh, what a privilege it has been for me to serve uh, the people of the city 
for 20 years, almost 20 years, and when I leave, it'll be 20 years serving the county of L.A. I was, I was elected when I was 26 years old. Uh, I, I would not have voted for a 26-year-old uh, for the city council, except that it was me, and I needed a job at the time. Um, but uh, only a city like L.A. Uh, would give a 26-year-old an opportunity uh, to show what he could do. And uh, my constituency, especially my constituency, has always sought out candidates for office who were independent, uh, who had guts, who were willing to push the envelope. Uh, they, they give us a lot of license in, in my district to push things that in other districts might not be politically popular and might be politically risky. And they expect the elected officials from that part of town uh, to use that opportunity to push as hard as they can to advance, uh, to advance the ball. And I've taken advantage of that on a whole host of, uh, of issues, that some of which uh, Craig mentioned. And it's been, it's been a, real, a real kick, to be honest with you. It beats working. People say, uh, how, you know, how, do you, how do you do this? You work seven days a week, out every night. And uh, I said, well, I'll tell you a story. When I was in college, I, I got a job in the film develop, uh, in the film developing lab in Hollywood. Uh, it was a maintenance, uh, maintenance job. Uh, my job was cleaning film cans eight hours a day. And we punched in at 8 o'clock. We punched out for lunch at 12 o'clock. We punched back in at 12.30, and we punched out at 4.30. And I spent the whole day looking to see how close I am to the next, the next break and the next lunch and, and, and going home. And it drove me crazy. And the best education I ever got during my college years was what I got those four summers when I worked for this company. I never, ever wanted to have a clock punching job uh, ever again. And so I got into this business uh, where you work all day and all night, and it's fun, sometimes not so much fun, but it's generally very rewarding. And you never look at your watch uh, because you really have an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives, uh, put your fingerprints on some changes in the region, uh, and actually see the ha your handiwork come to fruition uh, right before your eyes. And uh, that's a privilege that uh, very few people get the opportunity uh, to experience. And you've given me that opportunity, uh, not just those of you who have voted for me, uh, but those of you who have, uh, who have advised me, who have uh, supported my, uh, my efforts, uh, given us the kind of endorsements and backing for ideas that needed your endorsement to get through the City Council, the Board of Supervisors. Uh, I thank you for that opportunity. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I only wish my parents could have been around to at least see part of my career. It would have, uh, would have made them happy because uh, they both died rel when I was relatively young and, and never had the opportunity to see how their, uh, their son turned out. So, uh, and, and that does weigh on me. I want to thank uh, Cindy for her kind words uh, uh, about me and, and uh, the relationship between our office and, and universe, NBC Universal. Uh, they are a great company and a very worthy uh, honoree. Uh, it's uh, one of the great accomplishments of the recent part of my career was getting this evolution plan done and approved, and uh, not just done and approved, but in the spirit in which it was accomplished, um, everybody came out a winner. and. Uh, I'm really happy to have Comcast in charge of that operation now. Of, of all the owners that, have, that they've had over there at Universal, this this is this company is in a league by a league of its own, and uh, we're very fortunate to have them in in Los Angeles. So with that, I will say uh, thank you, uh, thank you for the honor, thank you for giving me an opportunity for four decades to serve. And I'm not going fishing, but I uh, I do believe uh, in self-imposed term limits, uh, except that this one is imposed, uh, but I'm glad it was because if it hadn't have been for imposed term limits, I probably would have run again, and I'm really looking forward to doing some other things, and uh, you know, stay tuned. Thank you very much.